Having my life saved by Daisy inspired me to keep going, to persuade others that dogs could have the, hold the key to saving thousands of lives. Without her drawing my attention to this early tumour, who knows what might have happened. Every disease has an odour. It, 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 some diseases do smell more than others. And these biochemical changes can be smelled by these fantastic noses. 300 million sensory receptors. Us humans have got 5 million. It's the equivalent of if we can smell a teaspoon of sugar in a cup of tea, Florin here could smell a, a teaspoon of sugar in the volume of water in two Olympic sized swimming pools. I'd actually started training dogs to smell cancer from urine samples. Dogs are used um, around the world and in the UK to keep us safe anyway. So we trust them in that scenario. So why not actually in a medical environment where they're saving lives? I think there's a long, long future in trying to understand the dog's ability to detect disease. And I think the dogs will be working alongside us in this way for many years to come. Dogs are saving lives day to day already, but the impact of what they can do in the future is even bigger. One day I took her for a walk, I lifted the, the boot of my car up and said hop out for a run. But she wouldn't, she kept staring at my face and pressing against me, nudging me. But then I felt this sort of bruised area as if, as if I'd got an old bruise. To cut a long story short, I was diagnosed with a very, very early but very, very deep-seated breast cancer. I had surgery and my lymph nodes removed and radiotherapy and I'm here to tell the tale. I do believe that in the future we will be mimicking what the dog does with an electronic system that will find cancer in the way that the dog can. We could all have something on our iPhone that's able to tell us whether we're suffering from certain diseases and that could be the future.